Hello and welcome to another gear review with me, Anjay. Today we are looking at the Behringer Superfuzz SF300. Now the Superfuzz SF300 is a fuzz pedal cloned from a Boss Hyperfuzz. When I say cloned, it is part for part, sound for sound. If you want to uh, sort of find out more about that, check out JHS's um, video on Behringer versus original pedals to hear just how close to the Hyperfuzz this really um, sounds. We am cut straight to me testing it out and I'm going to talk a little bit about the pros and cons of a pedal that, for reference, costs £18. Alright then, so I am all set up. I have got the Mabry T-Type going into the Superfuzz, into a cleaner amp. Here is my clean sound. There is a ice cream van for the third time. We are going to go on to the setting one of the super fuzz. Everything at 12. So this is quite an open fuzz, um, kind of a 60s fuzz. But it's also an octave fuzz, because if you listen, put it on for the neck pickup. You can hear that just in the upper octaves now. Whack the game right up, because, I mean, you're supposed to on fuzz, aren't you? Oh, yes. Um, now then, it has an active EQ, so if I go treble all the way on, little bit dentist saw there, uh, or oh, dentist saw, dentist drill, god, imagine dentist with saws, uh, and then with the bass, bone crushing. But as it's active you can roll the bass off as well quite dramatically as well so if you go you can get a really really trebly sound if you roll the bass all the way off and the uh, treble all the way off. tend to keep things around middle. A little bit of bass maybe. So that's setting one. Now setting two is very different. but much more scooped and tight. Uh, if I just roll the gain off to midway again. So yeah, much, much tighter. And again, the treble controls, I'll put it back up again. The treble controls add loads to it. So one of the things I found interesting when I was looking at the um, the Hyperfuzz was, was sort of when I was researching what Super Fuzz came from. One of the things I noticed was that people were talking about the clean boost more than they did the fuzz because takes out all the clipping or a lot most of the clipping from the fuzz but still gives the active EQ and some of the color so 
If we move that into uh, boost and turn it off and drop the pick. Oh God, hang on, it's gone into the black hole. Bear with me. If I go back to my clean sound, and then I boost. Obviously you can hear there's a volume boost, but there's also, it's just a slightly nicer sound. And you can play around with the EQ. it a bit of extra warmth now the interesting thing is that it doesn't the level control does nothing when you're on the boost it's all the game control channel for a while you'll know that I love fuzz but fuzz hates me I've been looking for a really good fuzz pedal for a long time the closest I've got to one that's perfect for me is Hubcap John's Bleeding Heart this comes pretty close in as much as it's very flexible and it does sound amazing and it gives me the octave fuzz that I really really love both the fuzz one and fuzz two have that beautiful kind of as you go up the neck up to the 12th fret you start to hear that, that little octave overtone and I love it. The active controls for um, bass and treble are also really cool because it gives you a bit more flexibility than just having one tone control that you get on most fuzzes. Fuzz 1's that beautiful open kind of 60s and 70s fuzz. Fuzz 2's that much tighter kind of modern fuzz. And the boost is just awesome because the boost kind of gives you a a coloured clean boost uh, which I would almost use as an always on pedal so it sounds awesome but it does have some problems now keeping in mind this is 18 pounds compared to the much more expensive hyperfuzz but still there are some things that would make you a little bit concerned about using this for anything other than a bit of home recording first one is it's plastic and not all that thick plastic in fact the hinge for this bit here this is all plastic this also presses in to remove this top bit to reveal the battery compartment I wouldn't trust this very much for heavy usage because it is it feels flimsy the switch itself inside here there's like a little rubber post that touches the tiniest little micro switch you've ever seen so again not very sturdy all of the pots are also directly mounted to the circuit board, as are the um, as are the jacks. So again, these are all bits that are very flimsy and will break very easily if you hit them sideways or you do anything too heavy with it. So from a usage perspective, unless you're going to leave it as an always-on pedal for the colour, there are some concerns about using this live. But if you are looking for a fuzz pedal and you're kind of in the market for something but don't really know what you want, you don't want to go out and spend a fortune, for £18 this is almost impossible to beat really because it sounds incredibly good, the controls are all responsive and you're not going to find anything better for the money. So unless you are a gigging musician who's going to be kicking this around the stage, this should be good for most people who either want fuzz for recording with or who are just dipping their toe into fuzz and want to find out what it's all about. 
I have to say I heartily recommend getting hold of one of these. So if you have tried the original Hyperfuzz and, and think this is a good alternative, let me know. If you've tried other Behringer pedals that you think are great compared to the originals, I know when Josh did his version, his testing on the JHS channel, um, he was a bit cagey about the difference between the Behringer's Tube Screamer and the original Tube Screamer because they were identical in every way. Um, let me know what you think of the Behringer pedals. Have you got some that you've used? Ha prove me wrong on the gigging. You know, if you're using one and you've been gigging it for years and it's never had a problem, please let me know and I'll, I would love to find out more because for me, I'm really anxious about putting this on my board, but I really want to because it's a great sounding fuzz. So let me know in the comments, hit the bell, subscribe, like, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.